So how do you download UiPath Studio and how do you install UiPath Studio? Those are two of the questions you're going to have to answer if you want to get UiPath certified and learn how to do RPA with UiPath. Well, the first step is to head over to UiPath.com and register. So click the Try UiPath Free button, then register with your Gmail account, and then you're signed up. Now, after that, if you actually want to download, find the download link for UiPath Studio. Well, sign in if you've registered, that'll automatically sign you in. You can see I've got a UiPath associated gmail.com account that I'm going to sign in with. As I said, I've already registered. That gets my OAuth token working, and all of a sudden it takes me to the landing page of UiPath, the automation cloud. And you'll notice there's this link here, download UiPath Studio. Now, you won't find the regular, just regular download link for UiPath on the UiPath website. You have to register and you have to click download UiPath Studio from here. And when you do it, well, it's about a 500 meg download. I got a pretty fast internet connection. It'll take me about a minute. And in that minute, I just want to point out that when we download and install this from a trial from a trial account, from a basic account, what we're going to be allowed to install is the community edition. So if you don't have an enterprise license, UiPath gives you the community edition essentially for free. I mean, it's, it's licensed, but it gives you the ability to create robots. It gives you the ability to run an attended robot, run an automated, an unattended robot, and allows you to do all this with sort of a limited capacity, right? But it allows you to dip your toes into the RPA world. There's also an enterprise edition. And if you want to use the enterprise edition of UiPath Studio, you have to register for an enterprise license. Now, you can register for a trial edition for that. And if you register for the trial edition, I think you have 60 days in which you can play around with the enterprise edition of UiPath Studio. One of the benefits of the Enterprise Edition is that you can hold it on a particular version. The Community Edition always gets updated as soon as a new version comes out. So if you're on 20.8, which is actually what the UiPath Associate exam is on, if you're on version 20.8 and 21.4 comes up, with the Community Edition, you'll be forced to upgrade. You can't override it. With the Enterprise Edition, you can freeze the edition on your, that you're on and say, hey, I don't want to upgrade to the latest. Okay, so it looks like UiPath Studio has downloaded. I'm going to take a look at it. There it is there, 510 megs, it says. I'm going to right click and say run as administrator, although I don't believe that you need to run the UiPath installation wizard as administrator, but I'm going to do it anyways. And it'll probably take just a, a couple of minutes for UiPath Studio to set up. Okay, and there we go. We've now got to the UiPath installation landing page. It's going to ask me to sign in at cloud.uipath.com. Can't deny that. May as well sign in. You can see it once again goes into that little OAuth authentication, gets my token, and it says that my uipath.associate at gmail.com account seems to be good enough. Now it's gonna ask me which version I want to install, UiPath Studio Pro, UiPath Studio, or UiPath Studio X. It's just the simple UiPath Studio right in there. That's in the Goldie, Goldilocks uh, area right there, UiPath Studio, that I want to install. You'll notice that it says 21.4. The UiPath Associate Certification Exam is on 20.8, but I'm using the Community Edition, I can't use a previous edition if I'm using the community edition, plus the 21.4 and 20.8 are very similar. If there are any differences, I'll be sure to point them out. Anyway, so I'm going to close the NAG screen here. You see UiPath Studio starts up. I've successfully installed the tool, but you know, it might be a good idea just to test everything out by creating a UiPath Hello World project. So I'm going to Click on process here. I'm going to create my hello world UiPath project. Click create. 
take just a second for this to start up. It'll actually start up a lot faster after you've created your first project. Um, there it is, it's opened up right there. I'm gonna click open the main workflow. That'll open the main.xaml file. And then it says drop an activity here. I'm gonna go to the top left hand corner and look for the UiPath message box. There we can see it right there. Drag it over into the main workflow and then in double quotes, make sure it's in double quotes. I'm gonna do the compulsory hello world. Yeah, just click on the box there, it kind of commits it, although it's always a good idea to click in the top right hand, left hand corner and select save. And with that saved, I'll click debug file. The UI path process is gonna start up. You see a little hello world message appear. And you know, you've now confirmed that UiPath Studio is installed correctly, and you can actually create a simple UiPath project. In this case, it's the traditional required UiPath Hello World, but it proves that everything is working and that we've installed UiPath Studio correctly.